One of the most famous verses from the Bible is John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hey, my name's Bobby, and I want to welcome you to my brand new channel. And while it is a new channel, I'm not new to YouTube. I've been a content creator since 2012. However, the content that I've created in the past doesn't necessarily reflect my hobbies, interest, or lifestyle today. So even though I've tried uploading these uh, new type videos to my old channel, the subscriber base that that channel was built on aren't really interested in this new content. So new channel. So the gospel and gaming. Now I know it's a weird combination, right? I get that. But let me explain to you how I came up with the idea. First is Basora, and uh, Basora is not my last name. It's actually the Hebrew translation for good tidings um, or good news. Um, but in this case, it's gospel. And you may have heard the word gospel before, but maybe you just don't quite know what it what it means, and and that's okay. In short, it's the message of hope that came with Jesus from God and how we can know him personally. In Matthew chapter 9, Jesus was having dinner uh, and ministering to what we'll call some common or normal people. On the surface, there was nothing special about these people, and oftentimes they were written off or disregarded by what we'll call the old school holy people. Because of this, many of these normal people felt worthless or abandoned, maybe even a little bit unworthy to be liked, let alone loved. And when these holy people found Jesus eating with them, they questioned him and even mocked him. But Jesus' response was legendary. He said, those who are well need no physician, but those who are sick do. Go learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Jesus was referring to uh, an Old Testament passage from the book of Hosea that these old school holy people would have been familiar with. So what is the message in Hosea? Well, it's a big message, but in context with what Jesus was referring to, God was saying that the old school holy people aren't the only people that he loves. God loves all of us and he desires our love and respect in return more than any sacrifice of things that we can physically do for him. You see, these old school holy people, they were notorious for judging people based on what culture they were from or their background, how they looked, acted, and dressed, and even the job that they had. They thought that the best way to help these people or minister to them was to condemn them and tell them that they need to do better. My guess is that at some point in your life, uh, you have probably experienced someone like this, and I, I know I have. But here's the verse right after John 3.16 that isn't as well known. For God did not send his son to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Unlike these old school holy people, Jesus didn't come to condemn us. He did the opposite. He came for us broken, abandoned, normal people. People who struggle with real life problems because life is hard. But Jesus loves us. 
God doesn't judge us because of our appearance or where we're from. 1 Samuel 16, 7 says, For the Lord sees not as man sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. The truth is, is that without Jesus, we're doomed. We're doomed because life is hard and painful and unloving and unforgiving. And honestly, the worst part is that without him, we would be eternally doomed and separated from God. But because of the gospel, we don't have to be. And that's why it's good news. On the other hand, gaming is one of the fastest growing entertainment industries in the world. And it's a community of talented, passionate, normal people that I truly enjoy being a part of. And here's the deal. We need to know that we're loved too, even in all of our normal brokenness. So as a Christian, I've been tasked with loving people and with sharing this good news. So this is how I plan to do both. Here's what you can expect from this channel. One, uh, I'm going to I'm going to shoot for once a week. I'm going to upload a 10 to maybe 15 or possibly 20 minute biblical kind of think through or Bible study video. And we're going to focus on love and encouragement, how to read the Bible, how to grow as a Christian and a better understanding of the good news and um, Jesus and what all of that means. I've already started recording a study uh, on what the Bible says about uh, about food. And uh, once we're up and rolling, I'll probably have some little maybe rabbit hole videos, uh, Bible study videos that pop up. And I've also been thinking about maybe doing a Q&A segment once we get some viewers and subscribers uh, coming in. Um, but inevitably, the idea is, is that we're going to look at what being a what the bible says about being a christian not what the holier than thou people say it is and two uh we're going to do some gaming videos right so i am a sucker for some good open world um survival style crafting style games uh games like minecraft seven days to die uh, those kind of things. And right now I'm playing Seven Days to Die, so the content will probably reflect what I'm currently playing. And uh, I'm sure we'll have some more videos that pop up and we'll do some playthrough series and stuff like that. But right now the content's probably going to be about Seven Days to Die. So hope you like that. Um, so either be here for the Bible study or be here for the gaming or be here for both. It's all good either way. So if this sounds like something that you'd be into, um, you, you know what to do, right? Hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified whenever new videos get posted, uh, especially here early on as I try to develop this routine and rhythm, go ahead, hit the bell so that uh, you get the notifications. And here's the deal, guys. I know what it's like to be on that side of the screen. I enjoy watching YouTube videos as much as I do creating them. And... As annoying as it is, the constant begging for subscribers and support, the statistics say that if I don't ask, then you won't do it. So here's my pitch. If you're excited about this new channel and you want to help it and help me get it up and off the ground and growing, there are a couple things that you can do to help me out. One hit the like button on the videos, right? First, watch the video, and while you're there, hit the like button. Um, the, the like button is like a key to the algorithm of recommended videos that YouTube uses in its suggested videos, right? So hitting that like button does more than what you might think. Two, another way that you can help out uh, is to get it spread by sharing the video either on your social media or maybe on your Discord in some of your gaming communities. And listen, guys, if 
Um, you don't want to share a video or feel comfortable sharing a video or sharing me with other people before you know what kind of content is going to be out there. I totally get it, right? Like I said, I've already posted a couple videos on the page for you to go watch. Uh, there should be a, a, an intro video for um, our uh, four course meal study. And there should also be at least one gaming video up that you can go check out. If you like what you see, then share it. Um, and those are the those are the quick, free and easy ways that you can help out. But if you want to help out a little bit more, you can help support me and the content that we'll be creating and uploading by being a monthly Patreon supporter. Uh, by becoming a Patreon supporter early on in the channel, you're getting in on the 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 ground level. And uh, as of right now, the perks for the Patreon are going to be pretty substantial. Um, however, depending on how fast we grow, we may have to dial those back a little bit. So if you want to get in early on, I encourage you to go over and check out our Patreon. There's going to always be a link in the description in the videos. And of course, there'll always be the link link in the channel banner. Listen guys, it costs less than a Big Mac at McDonald's um, to help grow this channel and spread uh, the truth about the Bible and God's word. And then in the meantime, you can also be entertained with some gaming, gaming stuff. And listen, let's face it, we could all use one less Big Mac every month, right? So anyway, that's the Patreon and that's my pitch for you. Thanks so much for taking the time to check out the channel. Listen to me ramble for probably 10 or 15 minutes now about what the channel is going to be. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.